Okay, lots of people, lots of politicians, that want to be politicians, and anyway, you learn something new every day, and I just learned something. Hello, how you doing? Not bad. And what's your name? You Dave Murr. Dave Murr. And Dave, <laughs> you, uh, you introduce yourself, you like uh, no video I made about two or three years ago. You yes. got a bug here, sorry. Okay, sorry. Thank you. Go ahead. Yes, what's, I, what's the video? Uh, well, we've done the kickboxing. I put a <laughs> kickboxing card on in Fredericton. And, uh, That's right. I had my good friend of 30 years or more, near 40, Johnny Terrio down, 23-time world champion. 23-time world champion. Yes. And Acadian. And he's Acadian, yeah. Pacadville, I think? Pacadville. Yep. yep. Hero. Acadian hero. He is, yeah. He is. And, uh... What what is he doing now? Oh, he's still he's all over the world. He's putting uh, he's, he's uh, making the kickboxing work in other places. He's in Russia. He's over world known. World known. World known. So a guy like that, like me as an Acadian, Acadian from Cook, I always look up to this guy. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have in New Brunswick uh, what they call it. Oh yeah, the New Brunswick Sport Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. Is he in it? Uh, he's not in it. No. He's not. No. No. You're, no. you're kidding, right? No, no. I've been trying to put him in that for 30 years, but the thing is, they don't recognize kickboxing in New Brunswick. Is the Beast in there? Is Leo Burton in there? Bobby Kay? The rest I don't know. <laughs> Those guys, are they in there? No, I'm just, being, I'm just joking around here. So they don't recognize kickboxing? No, no. There's a uh, boxing, kickboxing. It's uh, all the combative arts. They have a hard time to get anywhere in the New Brunswick field, you know? It's, uh, they just, I don't know, there's Section 83 of the Criminal Code, uh, you know, prize fighting and all that. Then they give you a hard time over that, try to make it work. There's an up-and-coming young boxer now, uh, I think Young Brewer's his name, and uh, he's uh, putting them down left and right, you know, in a good way, and he's having a hard time to get, to get Where is he from? I think he's from the Boys Town, Oak Town area. Oh my God! You mean yeah. those people there? Oh yes, oh, they could fight. Yeah, they could fight. No problem. He's oh yeah. He's with the Dean stories and all the people in the boxing. You know, trying to get him to. So I like to try to support those people when I can because I come. I've been doing that for 46 years, and uh, you know it's. Uh, there's more than hockey, baseball, soccer. You know, yeah, you I gotta mean, get into the combative stuff as well. Remember on Cook, we had a boxer named Jacques LeBlanc. Now, is he in the Sport Hall of Fame? I really don't know. I really don't know. I've only been, this is my 25th year back in the Fredericton area. I lived in Ontario for another 23 years. Have you ever nom tried to nominate uh, Jean-Yves for the New Brunswick Sport Hall of Fame? Yeah, I did. Like I just said, I, uh, I you, tried you for tried? five years, yeah. And you can't get him in there? No, no. Who, who's in charge of the... Well, I don't know. That they keep changing around. But see, uh... uh you know, the, the sports commission, it's only my opinion, needs a little bit of work on the combative end of it. They're scared of the policing end of it, Section 83, and, uh, and uh, it's politics. We'll be forever trying to get it done. But Fredericton, this is the land of the snobs. Well, the snobs, they don't box, they don't kickbox. They're, they're, they fight like Buzz Bunny with a white glove and then flum. I mean, we're Acadians, we fight yeah. kickboxing. Well, the air just uh, has been cleaned up uh, years back in a smoke Phil Barr with, you know what I mean, tough man contest and all that. I don't agree with that. No, but, but that's the way it was. When there's Queensbury rules and when you get a young guy going out there today to keep him off the street, you know what I mean, where his parents know where he is at the martial arts schools, at the boxing schools. What's wrong with that? That's, uh, that's great. And it gives you self-esteem. Uh, you never have any bullying going on in school. Of course not. It, it cures a lot of problems, but not everybody sees it that way. So they see what they want, I see what I want. But like I say, 46 years of doing it, it becomes part of your life. And put Jean-Yves Thériault in the New Brunswick Sport Hall of Fame, right? You know, I was in Ontario when uh, George Chevallo, yep. who is every, Muhammad bit, Ali. every bit the Hero. fighter of Muhammad Ali, yep. just because he didn't have quite the charisma. Yep. But man, the man's never been knocked off his feet. Yep. I used to work on his car when I first went to Toronto. We've become yeah. great friends. And sad, sad so, life. Uh, but uh, sad life, all these boys and that, and he's going around now. But that was his art. And, uh, and Jean-Yves is an Acadian hero. Oh, he's, a, he's an he, icon. He's, he's an icon. If you looked at his story from childhood up, yeah. he's an icon. But Put the icon in New Brunswick Sport Hall of Fame, right? Yeah, you can only do what you can do. I had uh, serious health problems there in 2013. Uh, heart cancer and a whole bunch of oh, stuff. Oh, you did? Yeah, so I'm not, my fight 
fight was with that. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's why I give up on the other end. Of That's all right. I'm going to take over. I'm, I'm, We're gonna, I'm, I'm taking over here. Jean-Yves Thériault is going to be in the New Brunswick Sport Hall of Fame. Well, and that's, and that's it.